Let me turn this down real quick, real quick. Hello. Wow, look at that. What is going on with my... What the heck? Whoa. What happened? One moment. Hang on. What's going on with my green screen here? Excuse me for a second. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I did. It's fixed now, I think. Uh, here, turn this down again. All right, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to be doing round two of working on thumbnail ideas. 
Um, if you're unfamiliar with what we were doing last time, let me pull up what, what we got going on here. Is that gonna work? Nope. How about this guy? Yeah. All right. We were playing with spreadsheets uh, last time. Not really, it, it, it was a small portion of our, uh, of our stream. But essentially, what I've done is I've gone into our YouTube analytics, right, for the channel. And I pulled data about, um, you know, like how different videos perform and whatnot. And uh, I have kind of cleaned up the data a little bit, organized things, and labeled with color uh, the performance of certain videos. So these videos right here, you know, the whole list is sorted based on impressions, click-through rate, right? So essentially, the, the ones that get clicked the least every time they show up on somebody's screen, all the way to the most, the most clicks uh, percentage every time that it shows up on somebody's screen. So, uh, last time that we met, right, last time that we streamed, I edited some of the, or I, I made changes to some of the videos that we looked at. Specifically, we had these two guys right here, right? The, the green ones. Uh, the, the baby one, the baby brain one, and the history of brain science video. Uh, so we, we made some changes to the title for the first one, and for the other one we changed the thumbnail. Um, and I'd like to show you the results, because they're kind of interesting. Before I get into that, if you're joining, welcome. Thank you for hopping aboard. I guess while I'll, I'll do a little, um, a little uh, uh, promotion, I guess. I love talking with you guys in chat. Um, if you're interested, I, I always say this at the end of the stream, which feels like the wrong time to say it. If you're uh, uh, joining the stream, right? You're in the chat. You want, you, you, you know, you enjoy aspects of it, but you say, you know, I would love to, to have more emojis. Uh, you go to our page, you go to membership, and here you can like join. And what that does is it gives you, <laughs> it's kind of dumb. It gives you access to loyalty badges that actually I, I commissioned and had made. So we got, you know, just your regular brain for the first month, a yellow brain with the top hat. You got a brain, blue brain with a witch hat, pink brain with a party hat. This one's got a jester hat. This one's a, it's kind of hard to parse, but that's a zombie brain right there. This guy's a, a, like a, it's got sparkles on the brain, sort of, you know, expanding the brain. And then you got the rainbow brain at the end. It's a tough one to get. Uh, and then also some emojis. These two I made, these two, they're supposed to move when you use them. I don't know if that actually works though. Anyway, I'm, it's a buck a month. I tried to make it as cheap as possible. That's as low as they would let me go. 99 cents per month. Uh, I also have a $99 a month option because I think that'll be really popular. I'm kidding. There's no perks attached to the $99 a month option. Um, but yeah, uh, you can get members only live chats. We don't really do that currently, but you never know. Um, but the, it does get you access to member only posts, which I've just started to do recently. So it's sort of like, it's not too different from Patreon. Uh, whoa. I don't know what my camera just did there. Not too different from Patreon, uh, but it's on YouTube, kind of. 
but uh, Patreon, we have a lot more levels. Maybe we'll end up adding those here uh, if people are interested. I was kind of surprised. I haven't been pushing this that much, um, and we don't talk about it in any of our videos, but already we have like five people who have become members, which is kind of fun. Anyway, that's enough self-promotion. Let's go to analytics and actually show you guys what we're working with. So, all right. Oh, that didn't work. Hello. Let's try that again. Uh, there we go. All right. So, last time that we talked, okay, uh, we we worked on two of these: the the history of brain sciences and the baby brain video. The reason that we did those ones was because it was getting more impressions, it had higher than average like shares and, and watch time and subscribers and stuff like that. So it seemed like a good candidate. The only thing that was killing it was the, the click through rate, which was lower than average. Um, our average is 3.5, 3.7, right between that range somewhere, which is, eh, it's okay. It's not the best, not the worst. Um, so what I wanted to do is look at the results, if, if that sounds good to you all. Um, let me just pull that up. Okay, so let's start with the, with the one that we spent the most time on. So this was, um, you know, the, the history one. I'm just pulling this to be a, a little bit larger so it's easy to see. Good to see you all in there, by the way. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Ali. Cattails. I don't know if Ali, if you're still here. Uh, Javid. Pyramid. Pyramid Seven. That's a cool name. Um, yeah, good to have you guys joining along. Uh, what we're going to be doing is later we're going to keep working on some other thumbnails. So I, I'd love to get your feedback on ideas. But let's look at the stuff that we already did. So two weeks ago, right? 14 days. We created this new thumbnail uh, as opposed to the old one, which was just sort of a brain in space type thing. Yeah, you think it's a nice looking thumbnail? I think it's good looking too. Here, let me um, see if I can pull up a larger version so you can see it in all its glory, even though the size that you see it in right now is probably what you would normally see it in, you know, on actual YouTube. But, here we go. Boom, boom. Look at that, here. There you go. So I think it's fun. You got, uh, you know, the split down the middle, sort of torn page. I made the brain, originally it was blue. I made it pink so it was easier to recognize as a brain. Maybe that makes it look a little bit less futuristic. That's okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, you've got these, uh, not EKG. What is that? What's the one where that uses the sensors on the scalp? Why am I blanking on the name of the... EEG, there you go, thank you. Uh, EEG lines. Uh, and then on the other side you've got, I just actually picked some drawings from Da Vinci. They probably don't show up all that well when it's a small thumbnail, but I'm okay with that. You know, I don't, I didn't, I didn't want it to distract from the main brain, right? From the drawing of the brain. So I made them purposefully kind of faded, but I think, I think it still get, gets the idea across. So yeah, I think it's pretty good, right? Good thumbnail. We did really good work on this. So let's look at the results. Um, you can see right now in the last two days, it's got about 16 views, right? And I, I want you to temper your expectations, right? We're talking about small numbers here, small changes. Uh, let's just look at the last month. Okay. So uh, we kind of see the change right here that day where it says zero, 
that is when we changed the thumbnail. You kind of see this when you change something about the video, there will be a harsh dip in impressions and stuff like that. I don't know if that's to, to try to, uh, I don't know, maybe there's some evaluation or assessment process on YouTube's end where they're just making sure that it's not something horrible that they're gonna be pushing out. Um, but then you can see that it starts to rise, 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 rise in terms of views, um, which is good. And actually you see that consistency day to day, whereas before it would be like kind of a roller coaster ride. But if you look at reach, that's really where we wanna be looking. Um, and we look at the click-through rate, right? Because that's what we were trying to improve. Over the last 28 days, average of 1.8. And part of that is because there's this rapid up, down, up, down, up, down. And you can see again at the fourth, which is the day that we changed it, it was 0% because they probably just weren't pushing it out. But then, and same thing for the fifth, but then it actually goes up and it's you start to see a more consistent click-through rate. Now, yesterday, for whatever reason, or this week, it's been performing worse. It's not great, but you know, you see that kind of stuff. I actually think that this is a pretty impressive rebound. Um, now, we're talking about small numbers, like I was saying, small impressions. 6,000 impressions over two weeks, uh, or sorry, over four weeks, rather. So you're only getting like one and a half uh, thousand times where it's showing up on somebody's screen and 200 views over a month. Uh, so I don't think that this thing is gonna like take off suddenly and, and start getting thousands of views a day or anything like that. But it's always kind of fun to see, you know, little incremental changes. Uh, if we had done this process earlier Right. If we saw like eh, the video is not performing that well uh, and we made changes like this, I think you would have probably seen a pretty a much more significant change. Anyway, so that's cool. So that's one. Uh, let's look at the other one. Uh, so we changed the title on this one. Changed the title to my baby's brain from conception to birth. Right, the title used to be something like, I had a baby, here's how their brain developed uh, in the womb or something something along those lines. So the old title was really long, a little bit convoluted. This title, way, way easier to understand. We didn't do anything with the thumbnail. We just kind of left it as it was. So let's look at performance. And we'll do over the last month. And again, current, Views pretty low, right? That's typical after a video has been out for like a year. Um, and when we look at the last month, we don't see all that much difference. If we look at reach though, that's kind of what we were interested in and impressions, you know, not, not, a not a significant change. So we changed the title and we see these spikes, which are kind of random, boom, boom, boom. And then it sort of leveled out again on the day that we change things. There tends to be sort of a correction almost. YouTube starts to push things a little bit less. So maybe that's what's going on here. Um, so this one did not perform the way that we wanted it to, which doesn't surprise me that much. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to get that momentum to build back up uh, after it's been out for a while. So anyway, mixed results, but I'm pretty happy with the thumbnail change that we did. I think that that one did, that, that one was a pretty substantial uh, benefit. Maybe some people click when there's a new thumbnail because they think it's a new video. Yeah, that, that is quite possible. Um, or, or that people who follow the channel, right, who are subscribed, uh, maybe they, didn't see it originally, maybe it wasn't getting pushed, and then, or it was, but it, you know, the, the video wasn't, the thumbnail wasn't attractive, it didn't stick out for whatever reason, and with the change, that maybe was enough to make people say, oh, I should, I should watch this. I've definitely experienced that, you know, I know that 
there's plenty of bigger channels who will change their thumbnail multiple times, like within the first two days of upload, um, just to try to find the one that will perform best. And, uh, and I'll see the video when it first comes out and I maybe won't click on it. And then later in the day, I'll see it again, but just with a different thumbnail or a different title. And it's like, oh, okay, oh, that's interesting. And I'll finally watch it. So who knows? Anyway, so that is the status in terms of how things have changed. Um, I talked also, yeah, go ahead with your question. Um, I talked last week about a video that I thought really needed a different thumbnail and I said I might outsource that. Oh, it's kind of hard to see the chat, isn't it? Let me see if I can get like a box for it. One moment. Mm. Here we go. And let's put that in here. That there, put chat there. Okay, there we go. And switch. Great. Okay. Uh, sometimes YouTube's just weird and pushes a video randomly to some algorithm. Yeah, exactly. The almighty algorithm, it, it is a fickle beast. It'll do what it wants. Um, I don't know why sometimes certain videos take off and certain ones don't. You know, like we have our shrooms video and that one has, you know, two and a half million views and took off. And it's not, I mean, in terms of the amount of work that we put into it, it it wasn't more or less than any other average video. Um, but I think for that one, at least the thumbnail is really great. And I think that the topic is interesting to people. Um, Razor, Razor Taser, you can, you can ask away whether or not I answer it is another question. <laughs> it is a spicy topic. Yeah. I think, I think that talking about shrooms is just like, uh, yeah, people are interested, especially people who are currently on shrooms, want to know what's going on with their brain. So <laughs> you get, I get, a, we get a lot of comments from people being like, you know, watching this while tripping. It's very funny. Uh, thank you for the subscription. I actually didn't even see who, who that was, but thanks for subscribing. Put this over here. There. Um, okay, so I want to show you a, a, a thumbnail that I uh, that someone else made for the channel, uh, and and sort of get your impressions, sort of see what you feel about it, see if if there are things that if you think that it would perform well, uh, if you think that it's something that you would click on, uh, or if it or if you think you would make changes to it or do something different. So let me just bring up the video. So this is the video. Um, bring back asylums, but better. That was actually a title proposed by Jeffrey. Um, uh, I was sort of thinking that maybe we changed the thumbnail for sure, because the thumbnail is terrible. Uh, and also maybe the title, consider the, changing the title um, specifically for search purposes, you know, make it something that people will be able to find. Part of the reason for that is because asylum, uh, probably not, not a great search term, mostly because there's not a lot of people searching for asylum and the people who are searching for asylum as a, as a term, uh, usually use it in the context of immigration, right? Asylum seekers, that kind of thing. So that's, that's always interesting. Uh, so we might change that. Hitler or Stalin? That's the question that you want to ask. Uh, neither? I, 
guess. Like, I don't know what the, what are you trying, what, what's even the question there? Which one do I like more? Which one do I hate more? Uh, who, who would I have dinner with? Uh, no to all. Um, okay. So, as we can see from the data, it's got great, a, a good number of impressions, uh, good number of shares, views, watch time, subscribers, right? It's just that click-through rate. Razor, I, I think that that's a pretty inappropriate question, and I'm not going to answer that. Um, so here's the thumbnail that someone else made. And I'll just let it let, let that breathe for a second. Feel free to write your thoughts in the comments. I don't want to influence your thoughts. Wouldn't psych ward or just plain psychiatric hospital be better? Uh, well, here's the issue. It looks sinister in a way if that door represents the future. Yeah, I agree with that. I think sort of the idea was to conjure the checkered past of asylums and um, make you wonder like, what do you mean better? You know, like what, what would, uh, what would better look like? Um, in terms of psych ward or psychiatric hospital as terms, those are often used um, to talk about like wings of a hospital, right? Um, so you have your like inpatient hospital wing, uh, which is different, you know, like a, a, an asylum would be a standalone building usually um, that is meant for long-term psychiatric care. Um, psychiatric hospital is not an incorrect term, you know? So maybe, maybe a psychiatric hospital could, could work in, as a search term. Too bloody? It's good to know. Yeah, I wondered if it was too dark. You know, it kind of feels like, um, it feels like, almost like The Shining, I guess. That's what comes to mind for me. Uh, like green versus red. Asylum has everything you need to know about the topic in one word, gore. Well, you should watch the video. Um, but I think, yeah, maybe a, maybe the color palette is a bit much. Would you click on it? <laughs> um, I do think that the red makes it feel very dangerous. There was sort of an idea going around when I talked about this during yeah, yeah, Jeffrey, what do you think? When when I talked about this last stream, I think it was either you, Jeffrey, or maybe somebody else who, um, they suggested maybe you have like a side-by-side. -side. You know, on one end you have um, the sort of like horrors of the asylum look, and then on the other side, you have um, the beauty of asylums as they were kind of in the olden days before they became overcrowded and, and places of abuse. Feels too dark? Okay, good to know. Mental health care is more related to current headlines. What's your suggestion there, William? Mental health care is more related. Are you saying mental health care as a as a search term? So the 
<clears throat> the issue is in the whatever the title ends up being or whatever is on the thumbnail i want to make sure that it's con like that it, that we're specific about talking about what um uh you know like it has to relate to long-term psychiatric care and so like uh a psychiatric hospital would be okay. Asylum, obviously, is is a word often used with it. Um, I think mental health care can be a bit broad. Something like this could work if only it had a glimmer of something better, like maybe the hint of green pastures outside. Hmm. Hmm. Giving me ideas. Hmm. Yeah, this like this almost like a window idea. I don't know exactly what that would look like, but maybe you have I don't know. It's 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 kind of there, but I I don't quite have it. The razor's edge of being accurate and correct and being searchable and clickable. Yeah, right. It is a weird balance to strike where you don't want to be clickbait in, in the sense of it being false, right? Um, or, or like you're tricking people in a, you know, in order to garner views. But you do want it to be interesting and also something that will make people say, huh, I want to learn more about that. I would play with saturation, black and white versus red is too eerie, too dark. Yeah, I sort of wondered about color scheme as well. The idea with black and white was to, uh, to sort of place it in the past. Uh, but I, I was thinking that it would be kind of nice to do some spot coloring. So let me give you some other photos that we were looking at uh, for inspiration for the thumbnail. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Here, give me one second. Let me do this. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right. So some other images. There was this one. Um, now this one doesn't quite fit because it's actually, if you read the headlines, it's for patients with learning disabilities, not really an asylum. So I don't think that that one would work. That one would be sort of false advertising, so to speak. Um, other ones, there's this one. I'll try to pull it over. It's kind of, there we go. Um, so there's this image. Uh, of these men in an asylum who are being mistreated. I think this is an Italian asylum. Um, but regardless, sort of the same idea. Maybe it is an Italian. Well, anyway. Um, Italy had a similar sort of movement to the U.S. Uh, regarding long-term psychiatric care. But they did a much better job with supporting community services than the U.S. did. Um, anything with people in it makes it feel more current. That's good to know. Uh, the fact that you can't see what's behind the door makes it eerie. Yeah, that's fair. You know, maybe that's... So that's a possibility, kind of combining what Jeffrey was saying with what you're talking about. You know, you could potentially... Um, 
instead of the door being red, maybe you make it sort of have this golden or greenish light coming out of here. Um, almost like there's something they obscured, you know, you can't see it, but there maybe is a brighter uh, future sort of thing, you know, and, and this all looks like something that maybe you'd leave behind. Mm -hmm. That potentially could help. Color spilling out of the door. Yeah, oh, you, you said it there. Yeah, exactly. Um, color spilling out of the door might be better. Yeah, that might not be a bad thought. So, okay, so there was that one. Let me, let me see if there's any other ideas that we were looking at. Um, oh, here. There was this one as well. Also kind of a creepy vibe, right? Um, abandoned asylum um, with a you know an old bed and stuff strewn about um, this one I think would be difficult to do the same thing as what we were talking about with the with the other thumbnail right like here you could actually have some brightness coming in and that sort of thing here it's already you've already got some color and saturation and maybe, I don't know, this window's a bit blown out, so it'd be hard to play with that. Maybe if you want to represent old, then maybe just, ch maybe choose yellowed black and white instead of harsh black and white. Oh, that's not a bad thought. Yeah, I could see that. You sort of lift the black levels, make it yellowed, kind of brownish almost. Green or gold light coming out of the door would be lovely. It communicates hope. Okay, good to know, good to know. So that is a possibility. Um, that is very helpful. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what was going on. You know, I, this one didn't quite satisfy and I was trying to figure out why. I think it is that it's just too, too creepy. Yeah, the video is hopeful. Um, it is hopeful, it's challenging, you know, it's sort of, um, it's really interesting just from a personal perspective because I think if I'm, if I'm being honest, the people who are pushing for the return of long-term psychiatric care tends to be um, people on the, on the more conservative side of things. But it's t it is typically in response to like <laughs> mass shootings uh, or homelessness, um, which don't get me wrong, you know, there are folks who are homeless who have severe mental illness who could really benefit from that kind of care potentially. Um, but I think that there's mm, it's it's it it smacks of that old asylum feel from the 50s of like let's put these people away so we don't have to see them or think about them um, rather than taking a compassionate approach um, and having a more holistic approach to, to care. Anyway, I digress. Speaking of politics, I'll answer those kinds of po political questions. Um, back on that picture with multiple people, there was one person looking out the window. Maybe that would let you play with the window idea. Oh, let's pull that up again. Okay. This guy. So he is facing in, it looks like, but you're right. We could play with that, potentially. If you have light spilling in from here. Hmm. 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 Okay. 
things to think about. Um, here we go. People make it more personal, tangible, easier to associate with, and buildings give it more alien and system systemic feel, in my humble opinion. Yeah, I actually, I really agree with that. I think that's totally accurate. Maybe make made to look like a picture of old asylum being peeled away and show improved one. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Um, I think you should find, hey, Afrotech mods. Man, it's funny to see you here. I feel, I, I remember getting a comment from you on one of my cat videos and just thinking that was the coolest thing ever. Anyway, I think you should find a way to put cats in every single thumbnail, regardless of whether there are cats in the video or not. <laughs> Speaking of cats, are you a big cat person? Do you have cats? Funny. A cute kitty asylum. Oh. <laughs> Cats who just need a home, you know? Catman. Perfect. I once wrote a short story in college about a superhero named Catman uh, who was dating Catwoman and was struggling with his identity because, um, because he felt emasculated by being overshadowed by his uh, more popular girlfriend. <laughs> Doctor Who had cats running a hospital. That's true. This is true. You're not trolling, don't worry. <laughs> okay, well this is helpful in terms of knowing the direction. I might have, I like the idea of having a bright light spill out, make it less creepy. I kind of, you know, there is some interesting shadow work going on behind this black splotch. Um, so I'd like to kind of bring that back. But it seems like moving away from the red um, might be helpful. We'll make it less creepy. Also, people seem to be more attractive. I don't, I, I, I'm interested, I'm intrigued, I guess, by the idea of the peeling away idea to hmm. this is all good stuff okay well let's move on thank you thank you all um let's find a new video to work on so going down the list here uh we have neuroscience of tourette's uh that one is a much older video but you know, impressions continue to be good. Good shares, good views. I would guess it appeals to people who have uh, Tourette's or family members of people or friends of people who have Tourette's, you know, they share it. Um, the watch time is below average, but it's close to the average, I believe. So two, almost 260 and oh yeah, it's right there, right? Uh, in terms of the median, which is what we're using. So it's right on the edge. So not a not a bad option here. Uh, I'll pull that one up so that you can see what that looks like. This one was one that we did with a YouTuber friend of ours, um, Ines from Draw Curiosity. She's awesome. She hasn't been uploading much lately, um, but she does a lot of cool cool work. Um, so who knows, you know, this could this could use a refresh potentially, make it just a bit different, a little interesting. If something works, don't fix it. What's that in context, in the in the in the context of? I mean uh photo of rundown asylum, copy and paste in cat, boom, better. It's true. I do have to do another cat video. It's not gonna be that it's not gonna be this one that's coming up next. So we have, there's, since you're joining, I'll, I'll share at least the, the subject for that one. Oh, and I'll show you the thumbnail for that one too. 
and get your impressions. So the next video is a heavier one. Um, the next video is going to be about mass shootings um, and, and the people who commit them. So let me show you the thumbnail for that. So here is the thumbnail for that. Oh, that's actually not the thumbnail. Where is it? Here it is. That's the one. It's very similar, but slightly different. <clears throat> it's an intense topic and, and, uh, and, it is an intense thumbnail too, I think. Thumbnail is good, makes good views, it just works. Very different, very different. Deperson depersonifies the shooter. So would you, so there's different options that I could go with. I could remove the pixelation. Um, I kind of like the bar thing, um, but I could, here, let me just pull it up. Hey, okay. So here's the, here's the, uh, the thumbnail, right? I could just remove that and maybe that makes it better already. Um, I also added in and then removed. Initial impression is that it does immediately invoke intense feelings. Yeah, that's good, uh, I think. You know, that's sort of the hope. Uh, is to not make this. You think the text might be too small? Here, Oop. you probably see it at that size. Is that too small? I guess if you're on phone, it'll be even. You know, it would be that size, maybe. Yeah, right around there. But on computer, maybe around that size. I can make it larger, that's not an issue. Um, yeah. Yeah, so the good question, asking what's it about. Um, the title of the video. Oh, you think the background's too bright? That's good to know. Um, the title of the video is oh my gosh the title of the video is going to be understanding the mind of a mass shooter and so it won't be specific to school shooters but really mass shooters generally speaking in the u.s um and kind of exploring motive and the narrative around mental health and mental illness uh, and sort of talking about the issues that perpetuate mass violence like this. So that's the general theme. Okay, so you said the background was too bright, and I actually think you're right. So let's try... Yeah, you can go ahead and share a link. It might block you. 
um, but I'd be curious to see what you're watching about it. I've watched a lot of videos, uh, you know, not just like about this topic, but about like, you know, news reports and all that, all that jazz. Okay, so I lowered the brightness, but the saturation now is kind of weird. How's that? Also do this. Go back to here. How's that? Yeah, what do you think? Is it too desaturated? Play around with that a little bit. There, that might be a little bit better. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> God. My preferred type of mass shooter. Shooters are particle accelerators. Wah, wah. Yeah, um, I like this thumbnail. I think that, I, I hope that it will do well. Um, I did, well, I'll get your thoughts on this. I did uh, initially also have the shadow of another weapon in there, but I think it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, I think it obscures the shadow so I don't, like, as much as it would make sense to have, like, an AR-15 in there, uh, I don't think that it helps get the message across. So I'm going to keep it simple, I think. The other thing about this thumbnail is you have to consider that the time stamp is going to be right down here in the corner. So it should look pretty good. Oh, no, it didn't go through, but thank you for sharing the, the end of it. Let's see. Uh... Oh, wow. So this is uh, quite the the video looks like two hours, two hour documentary almost um, on the topic of school shooters. Interesting. When was this um, made? Came out, well, it was uploaded in 2022. Mm, interesting. Yeah, school shooters there, you do you do see differences with um, demographics and stuff like that depending on the location of the shooting and stuff like that. I talk about that in the video. So school shootings tend to be younger folks, uh, but I will watch that at a later point. You like the shadow simple? Good. Okay. Whoa. So yeah, so this is, I think, what we're gonna go with. Um, hopefully it interests you all too that you'll wanna click on it um, when we upload that video. That'll come out next Wednesday. This upcoming Wednesday, I guess I should say. So not too far away. Um, let's see here. Let me pull up our gosh there we go list again so yeah so in terms of the Tourette syndrome video that's one that we could work on um, it's an older video so I'm less inclined to do that but let's go on to another one 
let's keep going down the list. We've got these two that are underperforming in a lot of different ways, but their click-through rate is better than some other videos. Um, these are some of our oldest ones on the channel, though, and the style is uh, not really in keeping with our current style anymore. Um, but that's okay, you know, they're, they are informative, kind of evergreen content, but they definitely fall into a more traditional format in line with, like, SciShow, I guess, uh, rather than more of the long form stuff that we do now. So it's very like quick, quick, quick and loud and, you know, um, trying to spit out a ton of info in a small amount of time. Um, so we could always refresh the thumbnails for that, but I don't think it's a priority. Um, here's one. This is a fairly recent video. Your therapist should play D&D with you. Here's why. And that's a different title. I changed that title uh, partway through the video being uploaded, or you know, after it was uploaded, because it wasn't doing all that well. It still hasn't really done all that well, uh, which is fine. But it's it just has underperformed. Um, so I think that's why the impressions are still within you know above average for all of our videos, is because it's a re more recent upload. Um, Funny enough, the shares are excellent. People are sharing this a lot, um, which is great, but that hasn't necessarily translated into views, um, but the watch time is actually good. So it's kind of funny, there's this weird imbalance and it doesn't, doesn't really get people to subscribe. So I've changed the title and the thumbnail for this Let's take a look at it. Um, originally, I had an AI generated um, thumbnail and that was not a very good thumbnail. And I, I should have known better because it was very muddy, you know, sort of like a lot of AI art is. Um, so I quickly shifted away from that. Um, and then I just took Freud and had him holding the die, but it was zoomed out more so you could really see more of Freud's body. And I think that was tough because you couldn't really see the die. Um, and so then I did this one where it's like zoomed in tight, you know, so you really see his face and you can hopefully see that he's holding a D20. I don't know if that quite comes through or not. Um, but let's look at the analytics here. So since publish, you can see, you know, there's just kind of a lot of ups and downs. Uh, I don't even know where I switched it, you know, multiple times, but it's it's been pretty, you know, around that 2.5% range which is, could be better. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if there's anything, like if there's an idea that could work better. Uh, I thought that this was kind of fun, but uh, it, you would swap D&D for RPG or paper RPG, mainly because D&D there is an example. Mainly because D&D there is an example. Mainly because D&D there is an example. What does that mean? You're, oh, you're saying like D&D is one of the RPGs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're saying... See, D&D feels like a good search term. RPG could also, but RPG could also be video games, not just tabletop. So you could do TTRPG. Uh, uh, hmm. 
trying to think of something that would that where it doesn't mess up the title too bad or like you change the title to make it more interesting How about tabletop RPGs? Tabletop RPGs. Uh, like I guess where my head is as like tabletop RPGs are therapy, or tabletop RPGs. trying to come up with something and I'm, I'm like struggling so hard tabletop rpgs as a form of therapy yeah it's very to the point uh i want a title ideally right ideally i would want a title that makes you say huh i want to learn more about that um CRPG and TRPG have very close consumer group, I believe at least. What's CRPG? Role-playing games as therapy. Yeah, yeah. Role-playing games as therapy. Also very like to the point. Oh, computer. Gotcha. Yeah, they do have a close consumer group, you're right. Um <laughs> I've never heard it called a CRPG, that's funny. Roll. Uh, like the goal is for somebody to read the title and say, yeah, why is that? Or like, oh, I never thought of that before. Um, Solving, solving your problems with... What if your therapist told you to roll for initiative? <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. You would have to know what that means, you know? You would have to have played an RPG or listened to RPGs where roll for initiative is a, a frequently used term. Uh, uh, struggling with this one you know it does feel like the title could use a refresh I'm gonna skip it for now I just don't have a natural idea off the top of my head but we're gonna come back to it we're gonna mark this maybe a deep red <laughs> okay next up we have neuroscience of ADHD um, this one, I think, actually makes sense for having a low click-through rate, and I'll explain why. Um, I think, so, so this year, for whatever reason, this is also at least two, three years old, um, for whatever reason, the algorithm decided to pick up this video and run with it. So it got 
a bunch of impressions, as you can see. Uh, one, one million, almost, you know, one, one point seven million impressions, um, which is which is good, especially for a, such an old video, uh, and and it ended up getting lots of shares and views and watch time and subscribers, right? Which is great. That's really awesome to see that bump. And I think when you have a lot of impressions, right, when the algorithm starts to push it out, your CTR is going to go down. Um, now, is there room for improvement? Yes. Uh, I'll show you the thumbnail after this one. Boom, there you go. We got Doug from the movie Up. I don't know why we picked Doug. I mean, obviously Doug has uh, some some attention issues in the movie, um, but you know, we this could be spiced up. Is everybody who sees this going to click on it if they see a Pixar character on it? Probably not. If I saw this, right, as a, as a consumer, if I saw. Uh, this thumbnail with the same title, with the title being the same in both the title and also the text on the thumbnail, uh, and and with Doug on it, I probably would not click on this. So that is something that I probably will change. We used to, I don't know why we we used to put the title on both the thumbnail and in, and use it as the title. So we might change that for some older videos where we did that. So maybe we refresh it by changing the text on the thumbnail, right? Um, and maybe say something like, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of something that, that, you know, it's, it, it uh, Maybe I should rewatch the video and sort of pick like a phrase from that or something that people get told a lot. Hi, ever thought of doing a video on Kratom? Um, I ha not seriously, but that's not a bad idea. So if those of you out there are unfamiliar, uh, Kratom is a, a drug that is legal right now in the US. You can buy it. In most states, I think it's not legal in California, but it's a it's it's a drug that you can purchase at like, you know, a, a liquor store or you know places that like vape shops and stuff like that. Um, and it's a drug that is currently not um, controlled. Uh, it was sort of on the chopping block. You know, the the DEA was looking at adding it to as a controlled substance a few years back, um, but then they they decided not to. I think they got some pressure from like medical professionals and other people who were using it for pain management because um, it essentially, from what I understand, it sort of acts like an opiate, right? Um, but it's but without the same level of addiction potential as you would find with opiates. Um, it, it is still addictive, but it, but it's not um, not as high of a level. Uh, isn't it kind of a legal opiate? Yes, it is kind of, yeah, exactly. I don't know if it does that much interesting stuff to the brain. Well, it, it certainly does, you know, if it has this effect on people, um, it's doing something up there. Um, I would imagine that the research about it would be kind of slim, right, to, to know the effects, but I'd be curious. I know that there has been a lot of push for research into it um, in order to prevent the DEA from adding it to uh, as, as, as a controlled substance. Um, so maybe there is a lot out there. Um, so I'd be curious here in Florida has been medically important that has helped people through opioid addictions. Yeah, I could see that attached to the same receptors with less drawbacks. 
Yeah, not that much good research papers out there, sadly. Good to know. So it, it attaches to opioid opioid receptors. The action of opioid, opiates is already well known. True. I mean, I think I could see the appeal, right? Because um, it is a newer substance. I, I guess I should say I, I can see the appeal of um, people wanting to find out information about this. I don't think that there's a ton of content around it on YouTube, probably outside of people who are kind of fanatical about it, right? They're not necessarily looking at it from a uh, sub more objective scientific perspective, maybe. I'm, I'm, that's conjecture. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, so maybe there's an appeal, even if the action is very similar to opiates. You know, it's sort of like we could get away probably with making a video all about LSD and how that works in the brain, even though we did a video all about shrooms and how that works in the brain. You know, like it's people are going to be searching different terms. And so maybe there is an appeal there. Um, uh, from a medical chemical perspective. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. That'd be neat. Um, yeah, I'll be curious to see what the future of, of it looks like. LSD would be super interesting. One of my best experiences with a similar compound. There you go. So see, you know, like LSD has a lot of overlap with psilocybin, um, but it is different, longer lasting. Some people describe it as more heady rather than body feel, you know, more, more cognitive. But then there are people who say the opposite. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, we have done zero work of, well, actually that's not true. That's not true. You guys help me with two thumbnails, the, the one for the next video, and you help me sort of brainstorm with this asylum video thumbnail. We haven't picked one to really work on. Um, uh, oh, I did change, here's, here's something. I did change the title of this, speaking of drugs, of this video um, here. So originally, the video was called The DEA is Lying to You About These Drugs. Uh, and the reason that I, and that actually is a different title than when it originally uploaded. When it originally uploaded, the title of it was like, uh, I don't even remember. Oh, like, uh, uh, could the world's deadliest drugs be used for to treat mental illnesses or something something like that it was a clumsy clumsy title um but i changed it again actually just just this last week uh i'll show you that and i i changed it to how the war on drugs blocks life-saving treatment um I don't know if this is going to do well or not. Again, it's been out for a long time, so how much of a change would a title make in terms of performance? But I thought, you know, we have DEA in the thumbnail. Uh, you got cannabis leaves in the background. Maybe I would change that to something a bit different. Um, I just think that cannabis and war on drugs tend to be the most recognizable um you know they, they kind of go together uh but you can see you know 19 views in the last 48 hours um if we look at any changes let's let's look at the last seven days so there's a slight increase in terms of click through uh you know again this could be just a small bump if we zoom out a bit more you can see that's where I changed it right last week and so we have seen a pickup but again you know it was hovering around that three percent range before that even who knows I'm really happy with this video this one I think is pretty good but um uh and you can see the retention is pretty good too generally speaking 
It's just that... I think it's just, you know, partly algorithm uh, and, and figuring that out. So if everybody on this stream right now goes and clicks on this video and watches it to the end, maybe the algorithm will launch it, right? <laughs> um, no, but it is, it is a fun... I, I just rewatched it recently and I was like, oh, this is... I'm happy with this one. Um, so if you're interested, I'll just drop the link. If you want to watch it, no pressure. So that one, I'm, I'm going to wait and see if that one ends up changing at all. Because again, that's, that's the one factor that really seems to be getting in the way. And we have this whole chunk actually of videos, these ones here, where the click-through rate is below, but everything else is doing okay. So I taught my cats how to high five. Speaking of cat videos, the neuroscience of autism with our good friend 12 Tone, another awesome YouTube channel. Uh, the scandal that shook psychology to its core. I actually think that thumbnail is pretty terrible. Uh, so these ones could also use a refresh. It's funny, I was actually just looking at this cat video one because the cat videos do really well. Um, but you can see that the thumbnail is, again, kind of an older style where we had just like a flat color in the background. This is when we were doing a lot of flat color stuff. Uh, and it looks a little um, uh, amateur, I, th I would say, and, and outdated. So we could refresh this and make it a bit better. Um, you know, because if we look at our other cat videos, you got this one, which I also refreshed a while ago, right? And that's actually picked up. It's been doing better. It looks like 2010. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks like 2010. Look at that. Um, oops. We've got this one, which this video doesn't do as well. Um, I think we need to change something about the title and, and maybe even the thumbnail as well. We've got uh, probably the best ones, the best performing ones were um, this one, funny enough. Do my cats love me? Uh, let's actually look at the click-through rate on that. Not a high click-through rate, but it also has a lot of impressions, you know, 43 million. Um, whatever, let's look at the last year um you know almost around three percent so it's not great we could probably refresh this one too and maybe see an improvement or it'll tank you know and just kind of die out uh and then our other one is this one right this was the original cat video that i did um and again, you know, if we look at last 28 days, last month, 2.4%, right? So also not getting a huge click-through rate uh, over the last year, 3.2. You can see the impressions have gone down over time and the click-through rate gets more kind of wild. Um, but it, it has had a good run, you know, just over its lifetime. You can see it really peaked in 2019. I don't know why. YouTube was just like pushing it. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. Wow. So anyway, maybe that one could use a refresh as well. So we could just redo some of these cat video uh, thumbnails so that we really tie them all together. And that way it looks like a series. Um, and people will go from one to the other because they know that they're, they all go together. So that's an option. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Um, I am gonna end stream now, I think. 
uh, I have some, you know, some ideas for what to do in terms of thumbnails, but I have another stream that I'm going to be running right after this uh, over on Patreon um, because I'm, I'm going to be talking about a project that I'm working on that um is not public yet and so i'm only going to be sharing it with folks who you know are invested and and who i feel like i can trust in that kind of thing um i'm not trying to spread this widely yet um, but it's something that in about a month will become public and more relevant so uh, if you are a patron you can come join me over there if you're not a patron uh, you can you can join now and and hop over. Uh, otherwise, uh, you'll learn more about this at a later point. So that's the deal. Appreciate you all for joining me. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's somebody that I can pass you off to. You know, like you can raid people. Eh, I don't think so. But we're gonna. I'll probably end up streaming. You know, in future weeks coming up here. So uh, Fridays have been my day, so keep a lookout for that. Um, and also keep an eye out for the next video that will be coming out on Wednesday. So hope you like that, hope you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me and for all the great suggestions. And we'll chat more later. All right, see ya, bye.